Hi, I'm Ashish Mathur. Welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can speed the task of a VLOOKUP on a large database. For other MS Excel solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. So here's what the data looks like. I have a worksheet titled as Report Layout, which has an account status column, bill period, bills, number of subscribers, and a few numeric columns over here. This worksheet has about 86,000 odd rows, and another worksheet is called the Lookup Table, which has two columns, account number and net outstanding. This has a total of about 179,000 rows of data. Now, my task is basically to write a VLOOKUP function in column G of the report layout sheet to fetch the net outstanding column basis, the bills column being common on both the worksheets. So what is titled as bills over here is titled as the account number over here. I essentially need to write a VLOOKUP, giving this as my lookup value. My table array would be the entire data set over here, comma, two, comma, zero, enter, and I, and I need to drag this all the way down. Now, I actually attempted to do this on this database, and just to also share with you, the this file size is about 15.2 odd MB or so. Let's, let's actually see what happens when I write the VLOOKUP. So if I do a VLOOKUP, my lookup value is this. My table array would be this entire data set, comma, two, comma, zero, enter. And let me drag this all the way down. Now, you'll notice as I do so, um, the workbook starts calculating and it says four processors, 1%, 2%, and it'll go all the way to 100% before it actually plonks uh, the data in all those blank cells over there. Now, just to share with you, I'm actually using an 8 GB machine with 64-bit Windows and Office. And just on about um, 189,000 or rows of a base data sheet data set, it should take that long. I can wait if I wish to, but it's going to be a painful wait for it to complete the processing. So I'm actually looking for a better solution. I simply just escape, come out of this, ensure this column is empty, and I'll instead fetch the data from the other worksheet, not with a VLOOKUP, but by using Microsoft Power Query. So here's what I'll do. I select the entire data set over here. I go to Power Query and I say Excel data from table. I, you'll notice once the data set comes into, comes into the Power Query window, my headers have been shifted down. If I want my headers to get corrected for, I simply right click and say use first row as headers. So that gets sorted. And let me give it a meaningful name. Let's just call it uh, data one. I go to close and load and I say close and load two. I do not wish, wish to fetch this data into the Excel worksheet. I just want to create a connection. So I say only create connection and load. On the right hand side panel, I get to see load is disabled. And let's do something similar for the lookup table sheet as well. So I select the data set over here. Power query once again, Excel data from table. Where is the data? A1 to B1, 179,000. My data has headers. Click on OK. And here too, let's give it a meaningful name. Let's call it data2. Um, the headers over here seem to be correct. So I go to close and load, close and load2. And just as in the previous one, I create only a connection. Click on load. So data2, load is disabled. Now, there's just one final step that's left, that of actually writing the VLOOKUP function. So, I go to Power Query once again, and here I say Merge. When I click on Merge, select tables and matching columns to create a merged table. I choose Data1 here. I choose Data2 over here. And I establish a connection between the two by selecting the heading here, pressing the Control key, and selecting the heading over here. So I get a message saying the selection has matched 86,345 out of the first 86,377 rows of data. I now click on OK. And um, I get a column titled as new column with uh, opposite headed arrows. I click on that and I want only the net outstanding. So I uncheck the account number box over there. Click on OK. And it actually fetches the account number from the other worksheet. Effectively, it does what a VLOOKUP would have done. Now I place this over here. I do not need the 17311 column. I right click here, click on remove. 
and instead rename this column as 17.3.11 and let's just call it merge data and I now want to transfer this to the Excel worksheet so I click on close and load another worksheet opens up in the same workbook which actually gets my entire merged data set with the VLOOKUP written from the other worksheet. I get a total of 86,377 rows of data. Now just a quick cross check. If I go to my report layout sheet, I get 86,378 rows over here, which I get over here as well. And let's just do a random sampling for the VLOOKUP. So let's go to the first account code over here, which is SINCELL C2. I copy this. I go to my lookup table, go down the filter, check for where this is available, click on OK. The amount is minus 10,092. If I were to go to my result worksheet, I see against that particular bill number, the VLOOKUP has been fetched as minus 10,092 without having to wait for um, Excel to process.